Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see how computer networking really works. Before looking at how computer networking works, we need to look at some of the very simple concepts. So first such concept is what is a network? How do you define a network? A network is nothing but a group where nodes are connected together. So a network is nothing but a group where nodes are connected together. And what are these nodes? These nodes may be our PCs or servers or routers okay these can be your pcs servers and routers one such example is collection of pcs servers and routers connected together so this is forming a network okay this together will form a network now what is a host there are hosts within a network a single pc can be said to be a host within a network like our own pc or our own laptop that can be called to be a host within a given network and one another concept is a process what is a process one particular task within a pc one particular task so it will be task within a pc okay so any task within a pc can be called to be a process like if you open your google chrome and write www.google.com then this is a process okay google chrome is actually a process which is creating a thread which is carrying out uh, this task of resolving www.google.com okay so this can be called to be a process now how can you relate all these things how can you relate network host and process so let us see how can we relate them if you assume that we are a host okay and we are running many processes let us assume that we are host and we are running process p1 p2 and so on to process pn we are running n number of processes and we are host one okay now assume that there is another host in our network which is also running some processes p1 p2 and so on to some process number pk and there is still another host h3 and so on there are many hosts let us say there are s number of hosts hs is the last host okay and these all are interconnected and therefore they will form within a single network and let us call it network one okay so these all hosts are interconnected and they are falling under the same network which is network one let us assume that there is another network which is having many hosts this is host one this is host two this is host three and there are many other hosts and let us call it network two where these all are interconnected okay now let us assume that we want to connect process p2 of this host h1 to some process pi of host h2 okay we want to connect them so let me write it process p2 within host h1 and network h1 we want to connect it we want to connect it with process pi running on host h2 and within network n2 we want to connect them both so how can we connect it in order to connect this process p2 with process pi what we need to do is we need to first search for this network we need to search for network 2 so there are three steps involved first we will search for this network after searching for the network there are many hosts present within the network now we want to search for the required host after searching for the required host we have many processes running within the host so we want to reach that particular process so from this p2 we want to reach to this network 2 after reaching to this network 2 we want to reach to this host 2 after reaching to this host 2 we want to reach the particular process pi because there will be many processes within a host and there will be many hosts within a network and all around the world there will be thousands and millions of networks okay this problem is resolved by using our ip address so our ip address is actually having two parts the first part is network id part and the second part is the host id part and this together forms the ip address the network id part says about the target network the network we are talking about in this case it will be the network id of network 2 and this is the host id part which will talk about the target host within network 2 target host within the given network okay so this is the host id part so by using the network id part we can come from p2 
and we can reach this network to by using this host id part we can differentiate this host to within this network now the problem is how can we differentiate the process pi how can we know which one is the target process for this reason we have something known as the port number the port number defines which process we are talking about okay therefore along with the ip address you can see that we have port numbers ip address is used to resolve the network as well as the host while the port number is used to resolve which process we are actually talking about so this is how computer networking between different hosts work if you have any problem then please comment below like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more such videos see you in our next video thank you